hey what's up guys Devin here from Dignited today I want to show you how iPhone mirroring works on your Mac right let's get into it all right with iPhone mirroring you can wirelessly interact with your iPhone and its apps and notifications from your Mac your iPhone stays locked so no one can easily access it or use it to see what you're doing so I'm going to just show you how you can activate that on your Mac the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you've updated both your iPhone and your Mac to the latest software versions. So for the Mac, make sure that you have updated it to Mac OS 15 and actually just did that last night. All right. So you can see I have version 15 there. And on my iPhone here, I have it updated to iOS 18. Right. So with that said, now on your Mac here, you should be able to see the iPhone mirroring icon right here on the dock or you can just search for iPhone mirroring here, okay, and get it, or you can come to the launcher here and just look for iPhone mirroring, okay? It's right here. So tap on it, and as you can see here, we have your iPhone on your Mac. We have a welcome screen here where it shows us what we can do. You can have quick access to your iPhone apps. You can view and act on notifications. And so you don't need to reach out on your iPhone every other time you're working on your Mac. All right, so just tap on continue here. Okay, it's going to ask us to unlock the iPhone. And right here, I have the prompt to enter my passcode, which I'm going to do. All right, and now it's uh, prompting us to allow notifications from the iPhone. Yes, so just click on allow here. Yeah, and iPhone mirroring is ready to use. So now just click on get started here. Okay, so it's saying iPhone mirroring is locked. Enter the Mac login for my computer to continue. I'm going to do that now. Okay, right. Okay, and it says iPhone mirroring will connect when iPhone is no longer in use so currently my iphone is actually unlocked so i'm just going to lock it and pretend like i'm not using it so we have require mac login to access iphone so i'm going to choose ask every time or you can say authenticate automatically right so here we go you can see our iphone is on the screen here right and when you hover over the edges of the screen here you can see some controls here okay this one takes you to the home screen this one here is for you to just uh, swipe through all the open apps right here okay right yeah this is a Chrome browser I have open on my iPhone and now I'm just interacting it right here on my Mac using my mouse here, right here, okay? So all I have to do is just to scroll up and down using my mouse keys. How cool is this, right? And if I need to go home, I just simply tap on those, these grid icons here, right? And you can actually also launch apps. All right, so if you want to quit uh, iPhone mirroring, simply unlock your iPhone or simply quit the iPhone mirroring application. So you can just simply come here, right click and say quit, or you can just simply come to your iPhone right here and just unlock it, right? just like that and now it says iphone mirroring has ended due to iphone use so you can't use the iphone on your mac and on your phone at the same time it doesn't work it's either or so if you want to use your iphone on the mac then you'll have to lock this first okay and then you can use it right all right if you want to open spotlight simply scroll up with your mouse okay and there it is okay yeah how cool is that now you can also play audio from your iphone through your mac okay so let's let's try to do that if you suck a draw on instagram and you know that there's something that you're doing wrong but don't know what it is this video was brought to you by brilliant so you can actually tell that now the audio is playing through my Mac instead of playing through my iPhone, right? So that gives you a bit of volume, okay? And you can now even just control the volume using your Mac. Okay. Car companies are collecting your driving data. 
well that's really really nice right so again to go home just hover over the edges and then tap these grids here okay and to just swipe through applications tap on that and there you go right this is really really awesome it's flawless it is fast and it totally totally works so this is how your iphone is mirrored to the mac and can use your iphone through the mac i know chromebooks do this as well with the android phone you can actually do exactly the same thing with the chromebooks the more powerful ones all right and now you can actually now do the same thing with the mac so we are seeing this transition between the computer and the phone the phone and the computer and so forth so it's really awesome cool so that's our short tutorial on how to use iphone mirroring on your mac so this works with mac the mac mini and any other uh, mac computer so if you like this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one